Hey guys, it's the Record Dane. So I'm traveling down Highway 95 to a certain town called Savannah for the weekend. Gonna have a little fun down there, do some different things, do a little editing on the way down. Yep, I'm not driving. I got somebody driving for me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to cut to the cliche highway time lapse. Are you ready? Set? Of Savannah. Let's see, can we see anything over there? Not really. There's this giant bridge right here. Get over. Yep. Oh, we're in the right place. Thunderbird Inn. <laughs> Vegas style with a Savannah smile. Except that's not really where we're staying, is it? <laughs> There's the bridge right there, Savannah College of Art and Design. This is exactly what you wanted to see, right, in this video? <laughs> in case you're from out of state, this is what the palm trees look like in Georgia. River Street, final stop, River Street. Bay Street. Oh, Bay Street, not the final stop. And those are Savannah looking trees. You know what I can't wait for? To go to one of the Savannah squares and do a Forrest Gump impression. What do you think about that? And there is uh, Spanish moss on Savannah trees. What was the word you just said? Southernmatized? Southernmatized. <laughs> Definition. Southernmatized. And an imported person from the northern states has been living in the southern states long enough that he has been and this has been your definition for the day. And here's a park that we will walk through, maybe. Haunted, oh, at night we'll do it. Well, hello, Marriott. And hello, parking fees. And Marriott, Riverfront, Savannah. Oh, they're not taking tickets? Okay, well that's fine with us. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> and you thought we were staying at the Marriott. Just kidding, that was for some business and now it's time for pleasure. We're staying at a little tiny cottage here right on the far side of um, Savannah over by Forsyth Park. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh. Definitely uh, old. Check out these floors. Pretty cool. Got my boosted board with it. We're gonna do a little riding. Nice little hearth. But it's about a thousand square foot place. Pretty cool. Here's the kitchen area. Got a hearth on the other side as well. But nice little, nice little spot. There's a bedroom. This back area is pretty cool. And this is an Airbnb, so pretty cheap to stay here instead of at a hotel. Plus you get all this cool stuff, nice little porch. We sat out here the other night when it was raining. I'll go back in here. Not many rooms, but definitely has what we need. A couple closets, bathroom, over here to another like guest bedroom or extra room right here. So, pretty cool, but now it is time to head out and do a little bit of adventure and uh, sightseeing and the whole tourist thing, so see you there. Here is a typical Savannah street with the uh, Spanish moss hanging down from the trees. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to have fun, right? It's raining. It's raining? Well, that's not good. Here's your umbrella for it raining. And here we come up to the front of Forsyth Park. It's like Central Park for Savannah. And here's a guy. We're gonna walk around this park and get on a trolley.
Walk and walk and walk and to catch a bus. Walk and walk and walk and past Forsyth Park. I don't know if we're gonna make that bus up there. It's way up there. Here's old as far as we can tell. Only the oldest up here in town. However, that does make it older than the colony of Georgia itself. We ban all hard liquor, all lawyers, but we also ban all Catholicism. <laughs> Thousands of horses in here and they start knocking down headstones. Now the boys in blue, at least for, at the beginning, try to help things out. As the horses are knocking down those headstones, they're put in the back, they're put in the back. But after a while they give up on it. Because it doesn't matter. Those ones that we put, they put back, we can't even be sure they put them back in the right place. Because right next door here is the longest continuous use of police station in the United States, 1854. Look at all the antique squad cars there. But also, hey, most people ask me about this two-toe vehicle on the corner. Half squad car, half taxi. That's our DUI message. The Pirates House. I might be inclined to buy you a drink or two. With an added ingredient. After which you might be inclined to... Oh, that. After which I might be inclined to drag you through a tunnel now known as the Rum Cellar, which goes all the way out to the river and sell you right into piracy. Ah! That's it, pay for the drinks. <laughs> and when these ingrates wake up chained to a ship in the middle of nowhere, crying and blubbering, why is this happening? The captain's answer was almost always roughly the same. Sorry, mates, you've been Shanghai. And that's how most pirate tales are made. City Market looks up like our actual stop is on the other end of this building, so I gotta go around the block to get to it, okay? But like I said, shops and restaurants, now a nice walking path on the second, third stories now, artists. Call this the little dig. I do usually try and hurry through this first part. Being a little narrow can be probably surprising part. This is also a two-way street. And that's good up the best bits too. 100 points, 100 points. Okay. All we need now is a runner. Okay. Now remember we said no natural stone here. All of Savannah. Where do you think we got all these rocks from? These, these are ballast stones from ships. Somebody might have said it, but I can't hear it over the squeaking of my brakes. Okay, these are mostly stones from England and Ireland. Look, the tide has changed. Five girls, number 12. Alright, so there are some interesting facts for you. That was about halfway through the tour. We're gonna get back on there. It's kind of like an on and off uh, trolley bus. But here is the river, riverway. There's the big giant bridge that we went over in the beginning. they're drilling over there that's what the loud noise is there's a boat right here maybe I can cut to a giant boat that I already saw going through right now
in his candy kitchen. Let's go. Uh, let's go in here. That's a few different kind: blaze and cheddar popcorn. Oh, look at the ice cream and gelato. I guess just gelato. No, ice cream and gelato. How many calories? <laughs> That's a lot of candied caramel apples. Thank you. Sir? All right. Thank you. Ooh. Holy moly. Take a pick. Take your pick. Holy moly. How many desserts can you have in one store? That's a lot. Wow. 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 Lots of candy, lots of candy, lots of candy. Here is a alleyway where we came and got our pictures taken one time. Kind of a cool cobblestone stone floor. Did some pictures right up there. And here is a river boat. Might go on this river boat cruise tonight. So we'll see what happens. But for now, you can check out the skateboarders. I don't think I can ride my boosted board down here. Look how rough this is. <laughs> and there is the world that you can walk inside of. Maybe. And the world is split in half. It must be a world, yeah, it's World War II memorial. Cool. This is where we got pictures before. Right off of Bay Street. And these are the steps that go straight up. Look at the incline on those. Um, going up, as in straight up. How many people fall down these steps every single year? <laughs> Boom. Here we are. Here comes our ride. Better stop. is where Forrest Gump's bus bench sat all through the movie. We normally nowadays call it selfie heaven. Everybody gets there, tramples the plant, takes it to the pictures. But there's no bench there because we never had any of our own bus service on any of those squares. We'd have to have buses with the doors on the wrong side. So you know they actually had to turn traffic around for the movie for that one scene. So I'll have to explain what happened to that bench. Of all these beautiful mansions show you the movies hidden gardens right here. and such. And of course monuments in the middle of the square. I do need to show you this gentleman here on our left. In bronze, here's our original fearless leader. Yeah, the guy there with a the sword. Okay, so what happened to Forrest Gump's bus bench? Like I said, we had to turn traffic around for that scene for the movie. Never had any rural bus service on any of these squares. You know, we tried to have a horse and buggy tour go right past Tom Hanks in that scene for some local color, but we found out we couldn't make the horse walk the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, we should have booked one of those right there. Yeah, we should have. Or we could have gotten a bike like that guy. We should have booked a lift we? car right like that. Booked a lift. But if we did that, we wouldn't be able to walk through Forest Gump Park, Chippewa Square. Let's go check out this theater. Hey, we got our tickets for Savannah Live. Oldest theater in Georgia? I don't know. Oldest theater in Savannah? I'm not sure, it's been here a long, long time. Mama always said. <laughs> mama said. <laughs> mama always said. Mama, 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 mama 
laugh is like a box of chocolates. First war to come through You're here. You're saying Red ghosts are real. Revolutionary <laughs> <laughs> war. Midnight in the Garden of Good News. Yeah. You read the book, see the movie, or just hear the name? Mo movie, I think. All right, don't answer the question. But first, I'll point out this house is built in 1860 by Hugh Mercer. Wow, look at that. It was 10 million for it? Yeah, Richard Kessler, who owns the Bohemian. He owns the mansion on the park, which is over here. Well, and he owns, um, he's building better get Clan working. Riverside <laughs> project. Stop me if you want. He's building Clan Riverside on River Street. So he's got three major upscale expensive hotels. Oh yeah. One in the works and two very successful here. Oh. I wasn't joking. Well, serious size here. Single family, yes, but always six units. Okay. House divided. Oh. Wow. Um, built by a railway engineer in 1890. Three colors of brick, brick lead, uh, wow. representing the three states from where the brick came. Wow. It is truly a uh, piece of art in brick. I'll show you a couple of highlights here. <laughs> oh, wow. So much detail. Yeah. Look above the first two windows. All right, this is the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. And this is open to the public. You can walk through daily, open to five. Come and worship here. 1878 is when it was built. Cool. They have bells up there too? Oh yeah. All right, so here's something cool on this thing. You see the hole on your right? Yeah. The fence? Boot scraper, put your foot up from your feet before gotcha. you enter the house. And there's the ladies over there, and two dueling staircases for what to find the mansion. Um, He's rough.